Today I will show how American foundations have been pumping millions into the campaign to halt pipelines. Calling it the money trail, the pro-pipeline group calling itself British Columbians for Prosperity, today claimed that it discovered through U.S. tax records that during the last 10 years, various American foundations have donated $168 million to Canadian special interest groups, some of them environmental. No super tankers on this coast! The suggestion being that the Americans want to heat up the pipeline controversy here because the last thing it wants to see is Canada exporting oil to Asia. We're a favorable place to be able to extract oil um, and to buy the supply from. But the problem with that is that we only do have one customer who is setting the price and we're losing billions a year based upon uh, those prices that are actually quite low. Furthermore, the group claims these American interest groups are quick to describe Alberta's tar sands, for example, as dirty oil, but are often much less critical of American domestic production. Why does that U.S. interest exist here? From foundations that are simultaneously funding uh, initiatives and grants that support U.S. oil production, specifically fossil fuels. But one BC environmental group describes the proposition that Americans are funding the anti-pipeline debate in some way is preposterous. It is absolutely absurd. Um, we have, for instance, we have 95-96% of our support from regular moms and pops who we canvass door to door right across BC. It's our canvas team that actually find our income for us. I hear the oil sands are making big strides with new technology. There are several highly polished videos on the British Columbians for Prosperity website, and they are clearly pro-pipelines. And although that same website describes itself as, quote, an independent group of concerned citizens, the founding member, Bruce Lowndes, seen here introducing today's speaker, is a past president of the Canadian Heavy Oil Association. The aim is to create any form of debate which could put a doubt in anyone's minds that this tar sands idea that we've latched onto over the last number of years is the best uh, way of developing our economy. Ted Chernacki, Global News.